Hello everyone and welcome back to Wheat Straw Inc. I am Wheat Straw and today we're going to start Factorio for Failures. Factorio, fantastic game by the guys at Woob Software. I think that's how you pronounce it. They're a Prague-based developer. Um, W-U-B-E-E. -E. W-U-B-E software, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Woob. Um, great game, lots of fun, very steep learning curve. Um, I suck at it. You'll see as we're playing this, the bass as in all the things that I do is pretty janky. Um, but it is a lot of fun. One of the cool things about this game is I actually had to study to play it. Um, I had to watch other YouTubers go and play this game because of how difficult it is to learn and to get and I, I've been playing, I've been playing for a little bit now and I still, um, you know, need, need help time it again. Um, so really lots of fun, difficult game to get. As you will see, uh, my hope is you play this and you'll, you'll know you, you're an average player like me and you'll get a little bit out of it and you'll be able to play it on your own too, but it is not for the faint of heart. So let's go ahead and get started with Factorio for failures. Okay. All right, so we've got um, these settings look pretty good. I don't like to mess with this too much. Um, you know, this is pretty much a run of mill game. There's a seed. If you want to play along with me, I'm thinking about doing this uh, a live stream of this. It's a lot of fun. You, you you'll see you'll see how much fun it is to just just be totally jacked up in this game. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay. So let's take a look. The basics of this game. Basically, we are here to build a rocket um, and get off this planet. Simple enough, right? Right. Okay. So taking a look at our surroundings. There's our character. Uh, let's take a look uh, at our surroundings. You can already see there's some aliens over here. And that's pretty rare to start out, at least rare for me, to start out and see a little bit of red. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on them. So we have great, great. We have all of this is perfect. This is a great starting place. Got a lot of iron here. A lot of copper here, some stone, and uh, some um, coal. So, you know, I don't use a lot of blueprints in the beginning of the game. Um, just not really something I do. Eventually, you'll start to see some of the blueprints I've used. Um, I can tell you where to get them, where I've gotten them over time. Uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's basically just a matter of um, preference, you know, what you want to do. I like that this is a little um, kind of offset here from the main uh main kind of I don't know just the, the main hub of all of the iron because um, I want to set up all of my uh, miners to kind of get all of this and this is make it a little bit weird if this is here but this is a good um, this is a good kind of place for us to start mining so we'll do that there um, uh, we need to mine some iron ore and then we'll get that iron ore and make some iron plates inside of this. So, um, but we need power uh, for um, the iron, for the smelter here. Isn't that what this is called? This is called, a, no, this furnace, stone furnace, different game. All right, I like to start out with wood. Um, yeah, and this game takes patience. So you're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of gathering of resources here in the beginning. Um, but a lot of you got to have a lot of patience. You got to lay a lot of groundwork in the beginning here so that your factory can be. Um, yeah, can can function well. You know, I don't like to I like to set up a good bit of power and um, uh, smelting or whatever. the I don't, Whatever it is, wh whatever you're doing when you're making iron plates and copper plates. And I like to do a lot of that in the beginning so that um, I don't have to spend a lot of time right away upgrading my uh, smelting capability. So um, add some of that. I added too much wood to that. So we'll add that there. Um, hit the little alt button so we can always see what's getting constructed inside of the um, inside of the furnaces. Uh, so yeah, man, yeah, let's let's see. Need a lot of iron, a lot of iron plates to start out smelting a lot of, or, you know, smelting or whatever. Uh, all of the iron down, making the plates is really important in the beginning. I like to use trees in the very beginning to power the furnaces. Um, eventually, I'm going to switch over to coal in just a little bit um, once I get a, uh, another furnace. I have a little 
infinite coal kind of setup, which, you know, if you've played this game before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And as you can see, it's very dark. We need those night vision goggles, but that's a, it's a long time before we get there. Thinking about night vision goggles. So we need some more burner mining drills. Um, we need some stone. So let's go ahead and get some of that. Stone is one of those things um, you don't need a lot of. You need uh, you can you can end up with too much stone. Uh, you just sometimes you can end up with just way too much stone, but it's important um, with some of the updates they have um, kind of increased its necessity uh, stone. So let's see. I like to use some wooden crates here to store things in the beginning. Uh, but right now, let's see. Take all these plates. We need another burn a couple of burner drills right away. We need this so that we can start getting this coal over here. We want this coal. So how do we do that? We set up this little kind of loop, which is a pretty cool idea. Um, need a little bit more. What else do we need more? Need more iron. Always need more iron in this game. Always need more iron. Always need it. It is, yeah. So need a lot of patience, a lot of patience. So what happens here is um, this iron burner miner fills this one, fills this one, and fills this one here, and eventually you can just start taking the iron, uh, uh, taking the coal out, um, kind of ad infinitum, if that's the way you say that. So, but we do need um, we need more furnaces. I like to uh, in the very beginning set up about four of these, set up four of these for the iron. Um, and then uh, probably two over here for, um, copper. You don't need, you need a lot of copper more. Well, I mean, you need a lot of copper in the beginning too. You, you need a lot of everything, which is why you need to set up kind of your, uh, your power and all that. You need to set that up really early, set it up well. Set up well, all your mining, all your smelting, this entire area. And how I'm going to do that is I think of what I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm going to create a, a bus system, uh, which is, you know, what most people I think do, especially most beginners like me. Um, kind of a bus system where everything's going to have all sorts of copper and iron plates running on just a, a giant. Um, transport belts in a direction one direction i'll probably run it out here to the west and with offshoots that create the things that i need like green circuits and you know um, gears well i don't know I, I, gears is usually something that you gotta kind of create locally i've tried to put gears on a bus and it just and you'll you'll see what i'm talking about as we kind of um, build our factory all right so this kind of infinite loop here and you can just control click take all of your coal out and so boom I have a lot of coal right away so I did that wrong I set this up wrong I need to be more I need to think that through a little bit better here I need some stone more stone All right. All right. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. Had some uh, sound issues. Okay. So, as I said, we are. We need a lot of iron plates here in the beginning. All right. So, we need to hook it up. And I'm just kind of haphazardly doing this right now. What we need to set up now is um, a little bit of um, stone, just raw stone. We don't need the um, any stone uh, bricks right at this second. We'll need a lot of those when we're making our uh, walls. Um, but right now, we need a lot of a lot of stone so that we can make more um, stone furnaces. So. 
right now. And so what happens is, um, you're not familiar with this game, this red here is our pollution. And um, this pollution is, you know, we, we generate pollution by how many furnaces are burning, how much power we're using, all the kind of stuff, nuclear power, all that generates pollution, yada, yada, yada. You can do, we'll do a lot of solar power eventually where it's a lot less pollution. Maybe even do some nuclear power, though. I don't know if I have the brain space to do that right now. Um, but the pollution attracts the biters, and that's the problem. So you got to control your pollution or um, be prepared to fight off the biters. I am usually just like to be more prepared to fight off the biters. Um, so I, I'm i not one of the folks who tries to make a giant kind of enclosed base. What I want to do is um, kind of make kind of modules um, so that I can place them along my bus system. Um, and there's, there is use less resources, I think that way. Um, so, I mean, it's a good thing, but at the same time, um, I, I think you have to deal with kind of, you know, put out fires more when you try to do it that way. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I may switch along the way I, I say all the time I want to do a bus system, but then after a while I end up, um, you know, just getting frustrated and start doing modules, uh, to create certain things because I don't want to. I'm getting close to the end and I don't want to, um, well, close to the end of my, you know, playthrough because oftentimes doesn't end well, um, which is a theme for me in video games, to be totally honest. It just, I just always have a good start. It's a good move. Good start. And then it just kind of goes off the rails. Um, so anyway, it may, it may change as we are moving through this. All right, so we need more stone. Lots of furnaces. Um, we need to set up a little bit of power because we'll need to do a little bit of research here um, in the beginning. A little bit of research in the beginning. Not our main research, but a little bit of research to get us started. All right, now just pull it. Sometimes I'll have um, this set up where where uh we we are um pulling it you know like I'll have this I'll have an inserter put this into a uh pull it from the furnace and put it into a box um but in the beginning nope don't need to do all that I'm just pulling it directly out of um the furnaces for now Focus, focus. All right. All right. So, need some water. Fortunately, got a little bit of water close to us. We'll need one steam engine, one furnace to get us started, and some pipe. Need a couple of these. And I'd say about, I don't know. That feels like enough uh, to get us started. I might as well build one of these while I'm at it. You know, a lot of players who play this game like to always be constructing something by hand and not have it be automated because you're not like wasting time. But I don't know. For me, I, I'm I'm a person that if I'm if this is about a game about creating automation, I I want something to create it automatically. Few things I'll create by hand. Well, I mean, I try not to create a lot of things by hand. I try, but, you know, necessity sometimes takes over. All right. Hope you all are getting ready for that basketball season. Baseball is coming back, too, which I'm very excited for. Huge Yankees fan, just in case you were wondering, um, because that is the only team, just in case you were concerned. All right. So... All right, so we need to set up some a uh, little bit of power, and I already got to be careful here because eh, that's going to be annoying. Got to be careful here. So I might just come up here and do it because I don't want to expand too close to that red. They're already going to be harassing me, and there's few things more annoying than getting harassed by biters early in the game. Few things more annoying than that. 
All right, so we're going to come up here north. Um, yeah. I like to use these uh, burner inserters here uh, in the beginning because, and when I'm dealing with power stuff, because um, the reality is when, say, if you're running low on power, um, which is a thing for most games I play, um, if you're running low on power, the burner inserters won't run out of power and so can't like insert coal into your, you know, whatever you need. So it just, it just makes more sense. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. This looks good enough. Take that here. Just give me a little bit of space. All right. And this is a, what do you call this thing again? It's a little boiler. Wow. I'm struggling. Boiler. Is what it is. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So we need uh, put coal in here. So it fills itself with um, coal and then starts to fuel the, fill the boiler. This water here pumps into the boiler, heats up the water, so it creates then I guess does something steam or something. I don't know. My engineering days are long behind me. All right. All right, so we need some power. Let's, let's go down here. All right. So we are going to make, we need right now just one. And I realize now I'm about to start making things by hand, but I can't make what I need right now um, by I can't make what I need in assembly machines yet because I don't have assembly machines to do that. All right. So now let's come back and just insert that now. Okay. So we're going to put some red in here and we're going to start. Uh, we need our assembly. We need assembly machines. So this is going to give us assembly machines ones, which are very useless. Um, so we're going to start using those now. And so right now, this is creating power so that we can run our assembly machines. All right. And we're going to get some automation right away. Got to fill back up on iron and copper down here, which is going to be an annoying little trip to run back and forth and do this. But hey, it's a lot of annoyances here in the beginning of this game. A lot of annoyances here in the beginning of this game. Uh, let's fill this. We need to fill back on our infinite coal loop here. Make a few more of these. I don't even see where my stuff is. Oh, there it is. Need obviously need some lights. We'll get that eventually. We'll get that eventually. All right. And it's a process. In the beginning, it's a little slow. But you'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Automation is building up. Very dark. In the beginning of this game, back when it was um, in early access, um, it was a little bit brighter at nighttime. But now, no, it is. Uh, they do not give you any help at nighttime. They just do not. They do not want to do that. All right. That is signals that we are done. Let me grab some of this copper while I'm down here. Grab some, uh, some of these iron plates. Really important. Right here in the beginning. All right. Did I, I built one of these, didn't I? I already, I already put it on. Okay. Okay, let's see. What's next? We want to um, immediately, I want a different weapon. 
Like that that is this pistol. I'm not even sure if I've ever used a pistol. Seriously. I don't think I've ever actually used the pistol before. Um because that's just not a not a useful weapon at all. All right. So what do we need? We need red. All right. To make red science, we need um, gears and copper plates. So we need to make some gears. We're going to be making lots of gears. We've got to decide if I want to do this on the bus or not. All right. So gears. All right, need an inserter here. We're going to use an electric inserter, a uh, um, uh, yellow inserter here. Uh, this is annoying. It's going to annoy me. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see. We'll need. We'll need a few of these. All right, but this is going to be gears. All right. No. See, already. Already. This is the annoying part. This is where I screw up because I'm just in a rush. And I don't learn all the hotkeys like I need to. I just don't. I don't, I don't do it. And it's not going to be pretty right now. And it's not going to be pretty anytime, to be totally honest. It's just not going to be pretty. Uh, eventually, I'll start setting up my quick menu down here. All right, so we've got gears. So this is going to be my red. All right. All right, so we need some uh, copper plates here. Copper plates are gonna be right here. Come out of this box. Um, copper plates, and then it's going to load it directly into this. Uh, all right. So we need some power down here. We need power. All right. See that? Cop um, iron plates make gears. Uh, into the assembly machine combined with copper plates creates red science and we output that into the um, whatever this thing is wow why do I not know what things are called lab all right well let's we need another one we need another one so let's let's do two of these let's do two of these all right so All right, this is how, how ugly do I want this to be? All right, we'll move this. We'll move stuff around. We need a couple of these. I don't know why I use the wood boxes. I could use iron boxes, but the truth is, like, you can't turn iron boxes later in the game into anything. So it just kind of becomes a useless uh, thing that you have in your inventory that you end up having to destroy somehow or another. So where do we want to go next? Okay, we need some lights. So do some optics because I don't want to be running around in the dark up here. All right. Okay, so I'll put have this output into another one over here. All right, it's gonna make red science. Need some power. Let's make some power over here. All right, so let's make some more copper. Ah, uh, if I had just made one more space in between, I could have um, had them each picking from their own little copper, from the same copper box, but, you know, I, I don't, again, don't think ahead, and I'm out of iron. I should probably borrow one, even though that's going to slow me down slightly. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. Okay, copper, copper, we need power again, 
All right. I'll put the rest of that iron back in here. We need more iron. Okay. We'll run back down here and get a little bit more. Let's see how we're doing on our pollution. Um, yeah, and, and what's going to help us with biters a lot later, probably mid-game, um, is having some trains. Trains can be a bit um, scary if... Uh, you know, if you've never done them before, but you know, setting up trains can be fun. It's some there's some pretty easy principles to just remember. Um, yeah, as I burp into the mic, you're welcome. Glad I could help you with that. All right, Let's see. Uh, what do I want to go with next? Yeah, splitters. Uh, or do I want... Let's go with the splitters. We'll need to start thinking about our um, our setup, our mining setup. And we'll need that. All right, going to need a lot of stone furnaces, so might as well just go ahead and start making those. make some lights while we're thinking about it as daytime comes back around all right okay 60 there 90 okay we should be okay all right now we need to start thinking about um, ammunition we need am we need a different weapon immediately I want this we need to, we're going to need a lot of ammo to um because we're going to be fighting back the biters on our own so we won't have any kind of real automated defense anytime soon so we need ammo for us I think I'm going to put inserters here. Some uh, transport belt there. And uh, I'll put my power line over here for right now. Okay. Let's get another box. I mean, I, I, I don't know why I create these. It's just a waste. It's a waste making those boxes, but this is all we got for now. Steel boxes will become important later because you can use steel boxes to make the logistics boxes, which come after robots, which is way down the road for us right now. Um, yeah, way down the road. So we need some... Uh, and using this tool here, you can limit how much um, you want of a particular item in this box. So I don't want to get too much ammo because resources are not plentiful right now and resources are never really plentiful if you're doing it right you are usually cl pretty close to the edge in this game as you should be um you know start thinking you got oh i got so many green circuits and then you realize you don't have nearly enough green circuits green circuits again you'll see if you're not familiar with this game um but yeah, like I said, serious learning curve to this game takes a little bit to get used to. Um, and after a while, though, you kind of get there and, um, and it's definitely not easy. It's never actually easy. It's just definitely not easy for me. Um, but at the very least, it gets more fun. Like stay close to the edges here. As I am uh, mining in the beginning. Take out infinite coal loop there. All right. We'll need a lot more stone furnaces. So we'll need a lot of uh, a lot of stone furnaces here. All right, 
Alright, so let's start thinking about where we want our uh, furnace set up. So, I have all the miners and the um, coal coming out. Alright, where do I want that? I don't think I'll have enough room here. I want the bus going off to the left here, but there are a lot of cliffs over here I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, that's going to be annoying. So what I might do is have to brave the biters here, kind of bring it up, start the bus here, going over that way. You know, this will be this will be an annoying map. This will be in a very annoying map. Um... But we'll set up our coal smelting and iron smelting kind of right here in the middle. See how it goes. See how it goes. All right. We'll start doing that in just a second. We need to set up some uh, automated uh, transport belt building. So let's think about that. For transport belt. All right. All right. Transport belt. All right, so we need gears. I think what transport belt, transport belt is gears and plates. Yep, simple enough. So we need gears, and uh, so we're just gonna load the gears again directly into the assembly machine to build our um, transport belt. And we need our more plates, lots of plates we're gonna need. Lots of plates, and more useless boxes. many more useless boxes. Let's keep it here. We don't want to go too far out. I don't want to have to get stuck trying to defend something. Right now I'm really exposed, but that's just kind of what it's got to be. I don't have I don't have any defenses or anything up here, but I'm Oh, see, look, 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 look. All right, got to start. Can't be too crazy here. Can't go too crazy. All right, we're already. I bet you in just a minute we're going to start having problems. All right, so this will get us some started with some transport belt. Um, let me get the rest of this. Uh, can I build? Uh, I don't have enough. Get the rest of this. These weapons over here. All right. It can get pretty frantic here in the uh, early game if you expand too far without thinking it through and um, you don't have a lot of uh, defenses. So you got to be careful of that. We need more furnaces. You, you, we definitely need more furnaces. I know we got a lot, but we need more. All right. Okay. Let's uh, keep our copper going. All right. Okay. It's going to be a little bit kind of uh, herky-jerky just because we don't have the space. We don't have space right now. 
um, in front of all of these uh, cliffs. It's going to make it hard, and I don't really know what's over here. Um, I guess we could go up and out, but I don't want to deal with this red right away. <sighs> you know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe we will. If we can, our weapons are pretty sad right now, so... Our weapons are pretty sad in this moment. Okay. Oh, I'll see already. Look, you see the biters going, coming for the base already? Look at that. Yep, it's going to be that kind of game, folks. It's going to be that kind of game where um, it's just constant battle. Constant, constant battle. Constant battle. With the biters. Biters sound like Walking Dead. All right, constant battle, but that's okay. We're uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get this. No, wait, we'll wait on that one. Constant battle, but it'll make it more exciting, right? It'll make it more exciting. Why is this not? Seems odd. No, they still got stuff there. Okay, well, did it? Was there a bug? Bug in the game? Not bug. Oh, it was out of all oh, out of st out of coal. coal there. Okay. All right, let's just put it in the middle here. Just put it in the middle right there. All right. Okay. So when we're thinking about our, uh, yeah, actually, here's what we'll do. We'll put the copper over here and we'll put the uh, iron right here. So we're not expanding too far out that way. All right. We'll start on that after we load up our iron. So this can keep working. We'll, you know, fill them up just a little bit more. So the research is still going. We have sufficient ammo for right now. Gears are still being created. Oh my gosh. You see that? They're already there again. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be that kind of game, y'all. Oh, and that's the sound. That's the sound when something gets destroyed. Get used to that, folks. Get used to that. It is going to be a sound we hear a lot. It used to be a much more annoying sound, like a sound like the Enterprise. Defiant. Since I'm a Deep Space Nine person. Cisco fan, in case y'all didn't know that from other Let's Plays. All right. Okay, so. Uh, we'll uh, put the iron here. We'll start it. Kind of have the iron shoot out. Maybe loop back around in between these. Um, we'll have to get rid of these cliffs when we have, when we have the technology. And this is my uh, smelting setup. This is this was not my idea. I stole this. In fact, most of um, how my setups I definitely did not do on my. I didn't come up with them on my own. Um, I I stole them for sure, for sure. All right. All right. So what's going to come up here is all uh all of our iron. Our raw iron will come up. All right. You gotta run up here and get some more transport belt. Need a lot of transport belt. A lot of lot of everything. We need a lot of everything. All right. 
we seem to be doing okay on the uh we're doing okay on the red science right now got two labs I don't want to build any more labs it's just going to take up and I normally at this point would have built a um, and put down a uh, scanner but those take up a lot of power generate a lot of pollution and with the biters as close as they are I don't want to I don't want to take that chance right this second alright so that's where our raw iron goes up and this middle rung here this middle row is where our um, coal and that's shared on both sides. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. And and this is, you know, all preference. This is this is the one that's worked for me. This is the setup that's worked for me. So, you know, what works for you will be what works for you. And this right here will be kind of uh this would be the output. That kind of looks like the middle be kind of right here, so I need to extend it out a little bit because it being too off center will annoy me. Was that kind of center good enough? And we'll, I know this looks like a lot, but we will need this much. We will need this much iron. I mean, this will be insufficient. All of these furnaces will be making, uh, turning raw iron into uh, iron plates. How are we doing? Pollution. Yep, still bad. They'll be coming for us soon enough. Again. Might as well get that last little bit right here. All right, let's get more of our uh, transport belt. Oh, look, as soon as I leave, and that's how it works. As soon as I leave, they start to attack. As soon as I leave. Yeah, I, I need I need turrets. I need some turrets down here. At least they're not destroying my iron plates yet. I have destroyed my iron plates. All right. Let's get back up here. No, I'll just go ahead and offload all of it since I'm up here. Because I know I'll need to. I will need to. All right, how are we doing here? Might as well. Might as well just offload all of it. Uh, yep, we need more iron, more copper here. It's fine. All right. I'm going to loop this up. We'll loop this up. I like to leave a little space in between there. A little space here. I mean, I don't really need it right this second, but I'm sure I will eventually. And I'll bring this over eventually and put a splitter and combine the lines. Let's see, maybe I can take out that base. How much ammo? I got 69. Uh, maybe. 
Maybe we'll see. How big is it? Nope. <laughs> I saw all. Nope. Nah, man. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. All right. Let me fill this up right here. Uh, and we'll take a break here, folks. Uh, load this up with a little bit, a um, little bit more coal. We'll take a break here. Um, and come back when we come back. Keep working on the smelting area for iron. I'll finish up the iron, build some copper, and we'll keep it moving. Thanks for just hanging out with me. See y'all next time.